Hi again, another lock going on eBay. It's a thumb turn cylinder lock, which I've tapped out and put some grub screws in. So you can change the pins over. To start with, you can just put a couple in and then as you progress, put more pins in. At the moment, there's only one pin in because what I wanted to do was quickly demonstrate what happens when you pick a thumb turn cylinder lock. So let me just open it up. So once you get to that position, you notice nothing's moving. You've picked the lock, but the cam's not moving and the thumb turn's not moving. So obviously if you was trying to get into somebody's house, even though you've picked the lock, you're not gonna open the door. So what you need to do is to get a pick wire or, but this is just a uh, tension tool. But what you need to do is get a pick wire or a bit of thin metal and push it right down to the bottom of the lock until you feel it spring. And then when you feel the spring push in, if you move it, you notice then, oh, sorry, my hand's in the way. You notice then the cam turns lock. If you take that out and you move it, nothing. So that's just a quick demonstration anyway, what happens. So what I'm gonna do now is just put the pins back in and just show you it all working with the key. No expense is spared on the pinning tray. I have done a video of uh, making that pinning tray actually. So anyway, let's just quickly put the pins back in. So whoever wins this on eBay, uh it's a good experiment to mess about with learning how it all works and whatnot this is only five pins so it's it's not bad for a, a starter there's no security pins in there or nothing so it's dead basic Last one. Right, just put the grub screws in. It does come with the Allen key as well. That's it, it's all back together. Grub screws have all been put in. From turns okay. And the key all works. There you go, that's it. Like you always say, it's going on eBay. Whoever wants it, place a bid. See you later. Bye-bye.